You said there are three things that you probably learned over the years that helped National Land Realty become the success it is today. And that was passion, delayed gratification, and listening. And so I'm curious, how did those bubble to the top as far as these are the traits we're looking for at National Land Realty? Definitely. That was a lesson I learned over the years, I think, as being in the recruiting world, trying to identify talent is the hardest thing to do. And as you mentioned, over the years, I started seeing common traits amongst the agents and brokers that we brought on that became successful. And the main part that you brought up there was the passion. I think it can be cliche, but loving what you do is so important. And I think sometimes people get into maybe a first job or a second job, and they're just trying to find their way in this world. And obviously some aren't afforded the opportunity to go into something that they're fully passionate about right away because you got to pay the bills. But for us, as we look at talent, having a passion for land, having connection to land, whether they grew up on a farm where they're habit hunters or fishermen, they understand it. Not only do they end up feel like being successful because they know it so well, but they also are connected to that world. They work around in those circles. And so it makes their lives a little bit easier. That next point that you brought up as far as delayed gratification, that's a sales skill that I feel like people are losing this world of instant gratification that everyone's seeking. Gosh, look at your phones, right? How many of us are looking down our phones constantly and at its every beck and call. But for me, just paint the picture for you all. The average landowner in the U.S. is above the age of 60. Most landowners, they still open the mail. They want to be sold. If you're going to sell them, they want to shake your hand and meet you. And texting someone or sending them an email is just not going to get the job done. And that's one of the things I tell our new agents and brokers is that you really got to put in the time and develop those relationships. It's so key. And as you're forming those relationships, the last point of listening, when you're in front of those landowners, sometimes you just got to close your mouth and hear what they have to say. I think if you listen more, you'll get further. So coaching our younger land agents and brokers that are getting into the space as they're out there meeting with landowners, building that relationship, just through listening to them and asking the right questions is so key. But listen more, talk less is what I say. One of the things that comprises your culture is you are a faith-based organization. And I'd love for you to share with the group the work that you do and provide for your brokers and their family in the way of your corporate chaplains. Because right now there's a lot of conversation in corporations about mental health, mental fitness. And I believe you providing these corporate chaplains actually helps with that. So can you tell our audience a little bit about the work they do and maybe the difference it's made? And obviously it's got to be a little confidential because I know sometimes with grief counseling and such, we can't be telling stories, but I'd love for our audience to learn more about that. Corporate Chaplains of America is a partner to be able to offer those services. And they do a tremendous job of supporting the over 440 agents and brokers that we have. Their chaplain services are spread out across the country. They have state specific chaplains and they have even a regional and local chaplains that can visit our offices and meet with agents and brokers and our staff back in Greenville, South Carolina. Having them on the ground is great because they're able to come in and check in and just talk to our sales team about what they've going on in their lives. And then what's important is outside of work, everyone has personal lives. And sometimes obviously there's grief that comes with that they're dealing with. And corporate chaplains helps us with reaching out if someone's going through a difficult time to check in and let them know that they're there if they need any assistance, which has been tremendous. So. We are a faith-based company. It is definitely something that we hold near and dear in how we've developed our culture. And as we think about it, as we continue to grow as a company, it's something that is very important to us. They've done a great job at helping us. And for us as leaders, I think it's important to recognize when someone's going through a troubling time in their life. Obviously, the job needs to get done, but I still think you need to have compassion and empathy and be able to work with your staff. For us, we celebrate with our agents and brokers, obviously in their sales success and their personal life success, but also we tried to reach out to them when we see that they've gone through a difficult time. And again, like I said, we work with corporate chaplains, so they're reaching out, but then we also have internal staff that will reach out. We will send a card, we'll send a gift and try to, again, just offer any type of support we can to an agent or broker that's struggling or going through grief. 